website? Samsfurniture.com. Sam's Furniture? Yeah. Sam's Furniture. Dot com. Okay, we pull up samsfurniture.com. <clears throat> Again, I apologize for the delay here. Um, I'm going to right click on the website here. Let me. Okay, right click right here, guys. This is how you do it. Right click on the site. And once you right click, I want you to go to view page source. Okay? <clears throat> and this is his title tab. Right there I highlighted his title tag. His title tag is Google is designed, it was designed by Larry and Sergey. They made it in college and they designed it to be a research paper. So it works just like a research paper. So the title of your research paper is Sam's Furniture Appliances Electronics Fort Worth. That, that's the name of your paper. So if I'm online looking for Sam's Furniture Appliances Electronics Store, and that's my search words, I'm going to be able to find you with greater ease. However, some of you aren't localizing your title tag. Because for me, I go online, I type in Tulsa DJs. I don't type in DJs. You feel me? I, I type in Tulsa Business Coach. I don't type in Business Coach. I type in Tulsa Appliance Center. I don't type in Appliance Center. So you need to localize that title tag. Okay? Localize it. If you can't do it, talk to your web guy. If your web guy can't do it, talk to me. I'll help you out. Okay? Next thing here. Title tag. The next thing you want to look for is your keywords. The keywords, okay? The keywords, these are all components you have to do. One is your title tag, two is your keywords. Again, somebody tell me. We right click, then we click what? View source. Boom, okay. Now you're all web developers, okay. Now if you can't find the keywords in here, control F allows me to find, okay? Now I'm gonna type in keyword. There it is. There's keywords are kind of hidden down here, like a good savvy web designer, his designer hide them. You know. Okay, these are the keywords. These are words that I am likely to type in separated by commas. Okay? Keller, Crowley, Fort Worth, Irving, Dallas, these sorts of things. Okay? The problem that a lot of people have with their keywords, though, is most keywords are not set up to be what the people actually type in. And again, think like a consumer. If you're online looking for a DJ, would you type in the word Carrollton? Would you, what would you type in? What, man in the front, what would you type in? If I was looking for a DJ? For a wedding, let's say in Carrollton. A wedding DJ. Wedding yeah, DJ. music. Yeah. Music? So music, and then what, what else would you put in? Uh, music, I would probably put music DJ or um, music wedding. Would you throw a city after, or you would just type in music wedding? Oh, I'd have to put a city. What city would you put it? Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. There we go. Okay. So what I'm saying is you want to localize that. You have to think like the consumer. Don't think like your web developer. Don't think like the business owner. Think of the consumer. You need to have these questions with your customers. I would survey them. What do you type in in Google? How did you find us today online? What would you type in? Okay. Get there. The next thing you want to control is the description. The next thing you want to put in is the description. The description is the thesis statement of your website. Anybody here know what I'm talking about? The thesis statement? Because yeah. again, they made it to be like a reason.